And I think I need to move the tab over, right? Hi, my name is Jan. I'm with NitroKey. NitroKey is a, both a startup, an open project, as well as a hardware device. Uh, so let me try if I can get. Ah, here we go. So, a hardware device. What has this to do with free software? Well, actually, it's not an ordinary USB drive that you can buy in a shop. Instead, it's a custom hardware. So uh, this custom USB device contains a microprocessor, and for certain purposes, I, I will cover it soon. And um, for those of you who are not familiar too much with hardware development yet, um, hardware development, well, the actual hardware, saying layouting the PCB and stuff like this, is pretty simple. It's a matter of a few days. but. About 99% of the complexity of those devices is in software, which is, of course, embedded in this device. And we don't have a Linux um, kernel or anything like this. It's, it's real software starting from the ground on this microprocessor. Um, so what is Nitoki actually about? What you can use it for? So you saw it's a USB drive. It's a USB key, actually. We, we, we position and we, we aim to provide people a digital latch key or a, a key as you are used for your home. Now you have a key for your digital home, so to say. And you can use it for various purposes. Actually, when we started, which is, I think it was 11 years ago in 2008 around, where we uh, had the name CryptoStick. It was a... Um, just a different name, but still the same project. Um, there was no YubiKey or something like this around, and we were looking for a way to store our cryptographic keys in a secure manner, um, even in potentially insecure internet cafes and stuff like this. So we started this project back then with the name CryptoStick and used it to store our PGP keys in it, use it for email encryption and stuff like this. And then over time, we added a few more features. Uh, here you on the slide, you see a few of them. So you can use it for email encryption, as I said, but also for other cryptographic purposes, like, say, SSH, where you want to log in to your SSH or via SSH to your server by using a a client key instead of typing a password. You can use an ITO key for two-factor authentication in the web. Um, I guess most of you are familiar with one-time passwords, which you can use also with your uh, Google Authenticator app. But instead of using an app on your phone, you can also use it on this NITO key USB drive, so you don't need to have a, a, a second screen, need to unlock a screen, but have it integrated in your main desktop. Um, we have also, as you expect from seeing a USB thingy thing, we also have a mass storage device where you can store files on it, just ordinary files, but they are encrypted in hardware without any uh, encryption done on the, on the um, software side on the client computer. Uh, we have a basic password manager to store passwords, and um, this is, say, a hot topic, FIDO, um, FIDO U2F is a standard for two-factor authentication, so to speak, is a more modern way of one-time passwords for to log in and to web services and, and other systems. And FIDO is just uh, more secure and more convenient. It doesn't require a third-party software. It's supported by all major web, br web browsers these days, so it's very easy to use, still secure, and um, recently came out a new version of the standard called FIDO2, which is, um, which is something we are working on right now to integrate it to our devices, and this makes secure login even more, uh, more convenient. Uh, keyword is passwordless authentication. So in the future, you will be able to log into perhaps even your favorite uh, website as soon as it supports this, 
uh, without entering a username and without entering a password even. So it's s more secure than using uh, just a password and it's more convenient. So this is something we are very excited about. Web authentication is the uh, other side of the same thing. So web authentic authentication is the APIs supported in uh, by browsers and the hardware side of the same thing is, is FIDO. And of course, it's all uh, all our developments are free software Im, uh, embedded in the hardware, which we also release uh, as open hardware. So thank you. Thank you.